I'm Morgan Lee, and this is another Nuggets of Knowledge. Today's nugget is all about a little phrase that I just heard. Let go. Be guided. Expect miracles. And it's that last part, the expect miracles part, that just blew me away. Because I noticed that we live in a culture that is always telling us to do the opposite of that. It's telling us it's a dog-eat-dog world out there. It's telling us to prepare for the worst. It's telling us, think about the worst possible case scenario and then figure out all of the different ways to avoid that from happening or to prepare yourself to prevent it from happening. That is so much time and energy and focus spent towards the negative sides of things. So when I heard this expect miracles part, it was like, It was like breathing fresh air again, new air again, because how often do you find yourself in moments of fight, flight, or freeze, right? Every day, Uh, whether it's a boss coming to have a conversation with you, whether it is a parent or child, you're thinking, oh gosh, what? You're preparing yourself. What's happening now? Oh, But if we just relax and take a step to breathe and expect miracles, the narrative changes quite a bit. I've been doing this in my own personal life and I've noticed so many changes. One, just how often me, like I, how often I expect the worst to happen. It's absurd. And so this little phrase, let go, be guided, expect miracles, really has been impacting my entire week from opening up different emails to uh, having different phone calls with people to having conversations with my friends and family. I'm going into them with this new perspective of expecting miracles, like literally what is the best case scenario that can happen. And my whole body feels different. Like my heart opens, my stomach doesn't have knots in it anymore. It just feels relaxed. Uh, And it's just a really lovely way to live through life. So I want to hear from you. One, how often do you spend your time thinking of the worst case scenario or avoiding certain things because you think the outcome is going to be bad? Versus how much do you approach life because you're assuming that the outcome is going to be positive. Uh, So one, paying attention to that, and two, taking action on that. What would you do and who would you be if you're always in the mindset of, well, if I show up this way and if I do this, a miracle is going to happen? I want to hear from you. How does this nugget of knowledge sit with you? If it's solid, please share it. If it's not resonating as much, that's okay. Let it roll off your plate. I'm Morgan Lee, and I will see you next time. Be well and keep living the life that you love.